right, here we go on the 135 pounds. I've been talking about it all night so far, but this is the first of two head-to-head -head matches between St. Edwards and Wadsworth for St. Ed's in the black singlet. We have Mike Martin. Martin defeated state runner-up Ty Davis in his second, his quarterfinal match, three to two. He is kind of a surprise finalist as he had both state finalists in his half of the bracket. Senior Marco, but he comes out of the bottom half and. He's wrestling Loudon Gordon of Wadsworth. Gordon, I must admit, has been one of my favorite guys to watch here so far at the tournament. Really athletic, kind of real funky. Gordon has won 6'4", 27-12, and has a fall in a minute six. That 27-12 score about tells you how, how he wrestles. High octane, quick from his feet. You've got two superior athletes here at 35. When they met, when they met last, Gordon stuck Martin in a roll, in a Granby roll from bottom in what was, a, I believe, a one-point match at the time. Gordon is 41-4 and four on the season. Martin is 30-8. and eight. Ed has a seven and a half point cushion. If Gordon can win, he can cut that back to three and a half. As he is only the second finalist so far we've seen tonight. From Wadsworth, this is our fourth finalist. We already have two champs from Ed's. This is, this match in Squire Salupo could both could be the two that decide the title. Wadsworth would like to erase some of that deficit. They led coming into this final. Wadsworth so far, like I said, 0-1 in finals. Eds is 2-1. And and you just saw back-to-back -back champs from Eds and Gus Seiko and Jamie Clark. Martin would like to make it three in a row through the, low, the lower section of the middle weights. We're 30 seconds in. Wadsworth trying to snap St. Ed's streak of 13 consecutive team titles. Wadsworth also would be the first public school to win a state championship in Ohio in almost three decades as you've had the Eds and Walsh Jesuit dynasties have dominated Division I here through the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. But Wadsworth has built quite the program. Both of these teams are in the in the top ten in the country. Ankle pick there by Martin, or low single there by Martin. Nothing yet. Gordon, like I said, Gordon has a lot of funk. So Martin has a great opportunity here, but he's gonna have to be careful. 38 seconds to work there in the center of the mat, so he's got plenty of time. To try and work this takedown. Kicks out the leg and no two yet is Gordon. There it is! 2-0 lead now for Mike Martin, 24 to go. He strikes first here in this gargantuan matchup between Eds and Wadsworth, tries to take him down. Come on, Gordon! Grandby in reversal, tied up at two. I said Gordon's funky, you saw it right there. Oh my, is this gonna be a barn burner? We're 2-2 with 12 to go. Gordon now trying to run a half. Five to go. Or three, two. Time will expire in the first. Huge, huge reversal with 15 seconds left in the first period after being taken down. Loudon Gordon knots up Mike Martin at two. Martin will take bottom to choose the, choose bottom in the second. Wadsworth's coaches say maybe he's gonna let him go here. But now Gordon will cover and ride. Martin tries to explode off the whistle. Gordon tries to slide a half with a spiral ride. So we'll zoom in for you, your viewing pleasure. Gordon cuts him now 15 seconds in. So 3-2 lead for Martin over of St. Ed's over Loudon Gordon of Wadsworth. I'll tell you, this is my first flurry of action, nothing yet. 
under a minute 30 to go. Martin tries to slide by on the edge, but we'll go out. This is, as I was about to say before that, Flurry, this is my first time here at the Ohio State Tournament, and it, this is, but it is about as good as it gets. This team race particularly has been exciting. Martin's got a two-on-one. Switches the wrist control, tries to throw by and pick an ankle. Nothing, though. Now one minute to go. Mike Martin to St. Ed's leads Loudon Gordon of Wadsworth two or three to two. I'm sorry. As that Gordon has the highlight reel move so far. The grand new roll on the edge to reverse. Gordon tries to take a high shot. Two nothing really. 35 to go. Two evenly matched wrestlers. There's a good shot there by Martin. Gordon sprawls out nicely. Now has wrist control and an underhook. 20 seconds to go. And the old adage is it's the end of periods and the edge of mats what wins matches. Gordon's already scored once at the end of a period. Can either wrestler score at the end of the second? Maybe build some momentum going into the third. Both wrestlers squared off. Gordon loves that one knee stance. Gordon tries to duck. More a faint than anything. We're now 3-2. Gordon's gonna go un Gordon's gonna go under to start the third. And escape will tie things. It's gonna take a takedown here. He won't even need to work for his escape as Martin, I think, knows Gordon's tough from bottom, has pinned him from bottom once already. He'll let him go. And it's going to be a one takedown wins affair here in the third period at your 135 pound final in Division I here in Ohio, which is the biggest classification of schools. Gordon not just wrestling for himself, but for a team title. As he's the first of two head to head matchups between competitors St. Edwards and Wadsworth. We have three of the top ten teams in the country here in Ohio. St. Paris Graham is rolling to a state title here in Division Two. The other two top ten teams are in a dogfight here in Division Third and Division One. Gordon trying to work on the head. We're now coming up on one minute to go. No real scoring opportunities here in the third. And as I said, Martin shoots a double. Gordon tries to funk through it. No takedown awarded. They go out of bounds before Martin covers. Gordon, you really have to be sharp and clean on your shots and finishes. As if Gordon gets any little opportunity, he's going to roll and funk and make life difficult for you. Another double attempt. Countered by Loudon Gordon. Take down Loudon Gordon, shucks by the double. And has two points with 40 seconds left to go up 5-3. Martin's gonna need to get out. And take him down. There's your escape. So an escape for one by Mike Martin. Now 27 seconds left. Loudon Gordon leads 5-4. It's going to take injury time. The Ed's crowd doesn't like it. The Ed's coaches don't like it. Actually, it might be blood time as they're attending to the inside of Gordon's mouth. He may have bitten himself and got cut. Martin gets words and sprays. Martin would be, I think he's a surprise finalist. Certainly would be a surprise champ. But it's surprise champs that win state titles. And if Eds can win a championship here, if Martin holds off Gordon for these last 27 seconds, they will have their first double digit lead of the tournament. And Martin that just has to avoid getting taken down. No stall horns have been doled out. It's been an action pack back there. A shot. Martin's got a score. Gordon's gonna take him down to his back! That's a fall! Oh my! 
Oh my! Loudon Gordon pins Mike Martin. And that cuts Ed's lead to two and a half points. Loudon Gordon is your hero for Wadsworth. Oh my! Oh my! That could end Ed's streak. As Gordon hugs his coaches, that is could be your match of the tournament. Loudon Gordon pinning Mike Martin. Martin, we know, needed that takedown with under 30. Got himself overextended. Gordon shucks by to fall. Oh my. The Ed's dynasty could be over after that one. Loudon Gordon, your 135 pound state champion.